Hmm. Hello, everyone. It's Lottie from Enjoying the Journey, Cancer as a Lifestyle. So I hope you guys have had a, a wonderful week, wonderful weekend. Um, we just got back from a few days off that we took off and just to relax and really didn't do much. And that, that was the whole point. I didn't want to be uh, doing anything, actually. But um, I was working on this blanket. This was my weekend project. I, I did have it started. I did have a nice square started, but I finished it. And that was the whole point of my weekend. I really wanted to relax and make this blessing blanket and I tell you, it was really nice to, uh, you know, just to get away and not worry about cooking or cleaning or any of the responsibilities that we have at home. It was just really nice to just sit and crochet and, and just enjoy each other's company. And that's what we did uh, this weekend. And I did get a cold. I did get a sore throat and a sinus cold. I did not sleep very well, but I'm glad to be home. And I think some chicken noodle will do wonders. <laughs> but anyway, here is my blanket. I have done, oh my gosh, this is my number three this month alone. It's been a month of donations, you guys. And I finally have on the Facebook page for the crocheting ministry, You, I do have all the Ronald McDonald blankets up there. Uh, so you can see all the ones that we donated. I also put up all the hats and the crochet bags that were donated to the um, Compass for Kids and After School program. And I do have one blessing blanket up there. I have another one in the wash. This is the one that you saw last time video, but I haven't um put it up yet. I haven't I just I have it in the dryer right now. And and then I finished this one. This is number three. I have one more. This one is going out uh to Illinois. It is gonna go to Illinois. It's going to um a nominee, someone nominated this person for it. They are going through cancer and uh, this one is going to go to them. I did do, um, this is all done with two strand scrap. It is black. One of the main colors is black and the other uh, strand was just multi different colors and it came out really nice. I have added a lot of texture to it. I don't know if you can tell. I have these are like the eyelash uh, yarn or the those fun yarns that we have. I decided to add it on and it gives it really nice texture, very soft and uh, just another use for here is another one here. Another use for uh, some of this yarn that you know we don't really know what to do except we, except maybe make um you know amigurumis with or hair or eyelashes for for dolls so um this is just another option it does give it a really nice texture i love it i i have been doing that a lot with my other blankets and i love it this one even here i don't know what kind of yarn it is but it's just like um this was, I didn't really had so much of it. And it basically is, it looks like it has a little, it's like a long strand of yarn. And then every so often it has like a cute little flower and then a long strand, then a cute little flower. I don't know what that kind of yarn is called. It was a scrap. It didn't have a, a tag on it or anything, but I put it in and it gave it a texture. So this whole blanket has a lot of texture and it made me think of, um, of dementia patients, how, um, uh, they, they we usually like to make things for them that have a lot of textures a lot of different feels um so it, it kind of adds to their sensory items they when they, they fiddle with it you know um and so i think this uh, that's good i like it i like this blanket i have another one started that i started on my weekend here and that will be the last one uh, blessing blankets so far, who knows what will happen. <laughs> you know, I could, you know, check my email tomorrow and there'll be another, uh, you know, another request for another blanket. So who knows? But right now that's what we have. And, um, yeah, so what else am I making? So after this, I am going to be making, I am thinking of making headbands for Phil's friends, which is an organization for cancer patients um, both uh, adults and children, and they actually make care packages to send to the patients uh, and at their home. And they also put them on a, a card list where they send them a you know encouragement card every week as they go through their journey. So we've donated many times to them before. We normally donate hats where they put inside the boxes, uh, but they also we also done. Um, 
headbands as well. So I think I'm going to do headbands just to do something different and it'll be easier for me to, uh, you know, whip them up right away. So that's the next project. And then after that, uh, it will be, um, I'm going to be making some cowls for the uh, hurricane victims. I figure everyone is going to be making um, hats and, and blankets so I'm going to make some cows and then we'll, I'll send those in. So those are my uh, coming up projects that I have going on right now for my donation wise. But here's my blessing blanket. It's going to go in the wash and it's going to go out in the mail. Uh, the last two are ready to be packaged up and mailed. So one more to go. If you have anyone that you would like to nominate for a blessing blanket, uh, it does not have to be an illness. It could be anything, anything that they're going through that they may need a pick me up and know that someone cares about them and loves them and cares about how they're feeling, uh, please send me an email. I'll be more than happy to make them a blanket and send it to them, all cost to me. Um, so please think of, if you have someone, feel free to message me. Anyway, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.